Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we are going to continue our tower defense game by getting the enemy shot at with our towers. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So where we left off last is we have our cache, the waves, and we're able to build some of these towers. However, once we build them, they will not shoot at our enemies that follow a certain path. So we want to make our towers actually start shooting. So there's a few steps that we're going to do. We need a couple different variables to determine whether or not we're able to shoot. So let's drill down into our towers and go to the parent tower. And somewhere within our variables, let's just go ahead and add two new variables. One to say whether we can shoot and another to hold on to the target. Now I want to be able to show the radius for each individual tower. So I'm going to create a new event and I'm going to use the draw event. We are going to set our color to white and draw ourselves. And then we're going to set the color to lime and draw a circle based on our X and Y position, according to whatever radius we have set up for that tower. Now, the only other thing I really need to do in the parent object is create a new alarm. So I'm going to say alarm two. And all I want to do here is say can shoot equals true. And this is going to be used for our rate of fire. And speaking about rate of fire, let's save our parent object and go to the machine gun. You can see that we've inherited some of the events here and let's change our rate of fires from 0.1 to 0.25. Now, because we are inheriting the parent, we have access to all of the different variables and events within that parent object. Now I want to create a step event and in here, basically I want to say if I have a target or if I, sorry, if I do not have a target, then draw a collision circle based on the X and Y position of the tower using the radius and look for the object enemy. It doesn't have to be precise and especially do not include this specific object in the collision check. So even with this little bit of code here, if I hit F5, we shouldn't get any errors. But as soon as I pick my machine gun tower and I place it down, you can see that we have the radius here. So whenever an enemy comes into this radius within the green circle, this target is going to be set to that particular instance. So in the else code, this is where we actually have a target. And what I want to do is I want to continuously check for this target. So I could say if the target exists equals false, so meaning that something happened and it got destroyed, then we just basically want to reset the target to no one, so we'll come up to the check above. If the target still exists, then we will fall down into this else statement. And for this else statement, I want to make sure that our machine gun can shoot. And if it can shoot, then what we'll do is we will just set can shoot defaults. And now we want to set the alarm, which we just created, so alarm two to the room speed, times whatever the rate of fire is for this particular object. The next thing we actually need to do is create the bullet. Now we're going to create this object in just a second, but let me maximize this here. We are going to new up a instance of this bullet using the X and Y position of our tower. And we're going to say depth minus one. So the bullet will be on top of our tower. And this is the object we will create in one second. After we create this actual bullet, we have to assign it the direction, which is going to be the point direction between our own X and Y coordinates and the targets X and Y coordinates. So this will give us an actual angle. The next thing we want to do is we also want to assign that image angle. So we'll use the instance bullet and we'll say image angle equals whatever the direction is, and that will point in the correct direction. While we're here, we're also going to give this bullet a speed, and we'll say it's going to be 10, and then we also want to make sure that we give it some damage when it can apply to whatever enemy we hit. So we'll say this damage is going to be what's called bullet damage, and if you're not unfamiliar what bullet damage is, is if we go back to the parent here and we go to the crate event you can see that we have bullet damage here so that will apply to each individual tower they might have a different damage now i did say that we needed to create that bullet so let's right click and say create and we want to create a new object and let's name it object bullet player let's assign a sprite which we can find in the spr bullet and we need two events we need a crate event and then we need a collision objects and we're looking for the enemy in the create event, all we really need to do is make sure that we have a placeholder for that damage variable, which is underscore damage, and just set it to zero. In the object enemy, we're going to be doing something that comes in GameMaker Studio 2.3, and we will just be saying with other, which will be whatever enemy we hit, we are going to run a function called hurt, which we need to write, and we are going to pass in that particular damage. And then we will say instance destroy to remove our bullet from the game because we don't need it. So this means that we have to go to the object enemy, and we need to create a new function 
in the create event here at the bottom. And we just want to say hurt equals function that accepts an amount. And by default, we'll set the amount to one. Now this particular function is going to be responsible for taking away the hit points that we have. So we'll say hit points minus equals amount. And then all we need to do is we need to check hit points to say if the hit points is less or equal to zero, then let's say instance destroy to remove our enemy from the game. Now with that little bit of code, we should be able to hit F5. Let's click on our tools and let's grab a machine gun and let's put him up here, grab it on the machine gun and let's put him right about there. Now when the enemies come into the radius, they should automatically start firing. The bullets will be facing the right way. You can see at those ones, because we're not very high in the waves, they don't take very many hits. But you're starting to see that these are taking more hits, which take more bullets, and they will find new targets after that initial target has been destroyed. So the only other thing I want to do in this video is if we go into the towers and we go to the tower machine gun and the step event, once we know that we currently have a target, all I want to do is I want to update the image angle. So I'll say image angle is going to equal the point direction. And we can just go ahead and copy what we have here. So this is between our X and Y coordinates and the target's X and Y coordinates. So this will automatically make our machine gun face wherever the actual enemy is. So if I run my game one more time and I build some of these machine guns, they're going to be facing to the right, which is default. But then once the targets come in place, they should start looking at them, which then will make sense when they fire the bullet. So there's still lots of work to do, but you can see that we have the basics working. Our machine guns are indeed firing. They're using the rate of fire, also the radius. And we can turn off some of this debug code in the upcoming videos. We need to make sure that we get the rest of the towers shooting, such as the slow tower and the bomb tower, which will be in the next video. So thanks for watching. I would like to thank you all for subscribing and watching this video. A huge shout out to the Patreon supporters in no particular order. ETC Lee, Alex, Robert, Annie, Ashby, Angel, Yatobod, Edward, Corey, Paul, Darfold, Victor, Timothy, and Ian. Once again, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.